All right, we're going to go ahead and give you guys some ideas of what you can do on this slate today for DFS and MLB for today. That's the 10th of April. What I'm looking at right now here is a draft dashboard where you can find the optimal DFS players. However, there's a lot more to it, obviously, than just uh, give you some general rules, of course, to guide and follow by as an overview for today. Number one, I'd, I would say to look at is when you're looking at your optimal plays, let's take, for example, the outfield right here looking at uh this guy mike a pitcher for the atlanta braves versus uh, harper uh he's not very good against lefties indicated by a 0. 0.950 ops and harper is uh, outstanding versus righties so once again harper a good um cash or you know unfatable play here for today and so that's one very particular thing of course, the weather and the um, conditions of the, the ballpark, you know, whether it's a good hitting bar ballpark, very good factor. For that, you can just simply come over to one of these places here, um, check depth charts and make sure they're starting. I noticed for today, for example, Phillies have some good matchups. However, it remains yet to be seen. So I'm taking somewhat of a risk in a fan duel like a uh, double up for today. It's beginning at 2 p.m. as I choose to do so, entering it as a risky proposition that you don't know who starts uh, from day to day between Nick Williams, uh, Herrera in the center field, and Hoskins. So Herrera has been benched, and Williams will start sometimes alter. Uh, he has a good matchup for, to, for today, but we don't know if he's starting. So that's just another little detail but um, going into that, but very important to be aware of all these things going on um, leading up to the most um, reliable information going before the opening pitch. But getting to back to what we were looking at here as I get off on a different sort of tangent uh, is I'm trying to remember where we were going. Um, yeah, with Bryce Harper. And then we went and looked at, we already looked at a Philly guy here and it tried to indicate to us, you know, oh, I know remember what we're going to do. Uh, the the park factors I have it here that you know it, the hitter uh, friendly fields of course as many people know cores and then Chase Field Miller and so far so far you can do it, just a Google search to look at the best parks and don't forget to tell uh, Siri or Google that you need to know the weather current weather for today for this particular uh, city or ballpark so you can verify these teams are playing. But tricky as it is, you know, uh, leading up to this game slate right here, right now it's almost 1 o'clock. You know, you don't know what's going to happen in the 7 p.m. games and so forth. So a lot of people would tend to, tend to favorably, you know, go with uh, that, you know, the guys on the 2 p.m. Uh, early slate. Uh, let's, uh, let's just want to see how many games are actually playing. Um, you know, you can check Roto Grinders or somewhere like that just to get, give you a good indication well, an exact indication of, of arranging this according to the time slots um, as there are only, if you really look at it, two games, uh, one in a not-a-fair-weather play, Chicago, that you'll be able to verify the starting lineup. I don't think that even the Detroit-Cleveland game, game you'll be able to verify any starting lineups there either. So everyone is taking a risk. It's just a risk at 2, 2 10 p.m. that you have to deal with, even if it's a 50-50 type cash contest which it's not it's a double up so technically it is uh sort, sort of a tournament or um what do you call it a matrix type play so um those are the, the important factors to look at here so far i've covered also you can look at here i was on a draft dashboard toolbar in the spreadsheet here the ops 0 0.601 that chris sale allows which is very good as a pitcher for today is a good option in my opinion uh for this type of a play in a tournament today because you're going to need his upside from this pitcher and Severino and Strasburg are fine as well even DeGrom is fine uh, pitching there in Miami so those are some good plays for today I believe if you want to look at it more position by position you just click on any one of these buttons here obviously to see the position by position look at the on base weighted factor weighted OPS you know as I'm bringing up one there I just showed uh, the example and how to do that so just want to leave you that info and I'll show you the results of my uh, contest uh, for tomorrow. This is what it's going to be, uh, most likely bearing any last-minute changes. Uh, just going ahead to show that, you know, 
upcoming, it's going to look like this with only one, I believe, a couple, maybe a few confirmed starters. Uh, just waiting for it to pull up and to double up as I'm getting much more on a winning track now. Now I'm really focusing on one sport and looking at all the factors of regressions, whether guys can, you know, have sustainable, um, you know, scoring and a lot of variance type of sport. But however, I don't use my usual um, free report, you know, info regarding variance and things like that, coefficient variable to grade uh, players and look for expectations as to how they would score in baseball. So, but you can still download the free report just for all fancy sports and still get into, you know, other things, obviously like hockey for the playoffs right now, the rest of the NBA season, and then in football. So download that, just click on the link at the bottom of the uh, video here and take care.